Hello guys, welcome to this video where we're going to talk about everything there is to talk about about the Rhinoognatha or Rhinoognatha. Well, first of all, what what does this resemble from the uh, dinosaur age? Well, Rhinoognatha is an extinct genus of arthropods whose classification is controversial. In some analysis, it is considered the oldest known insect and possibly a flying insect, but well, science just doesn't know for sure. This monster beetle will now be released on the existing version of Ark Survival Evolved, so a not survival ascendant, and it will be released in June 2023 as the final content update. So it will be the last ever update to hit Ark Survival Evolved. And well, first of all, before we get into this this creature, I will uh, read out the ocean for you guys. So we have a common understanding of uh, what this guy is. I swear, every new creature I come across here makes me more sure they've all had their genes tampered with. I know I'm right about this. Take this monster buck I'm calling Rhinoctotha. Big enough to headline a horror flick, but still light enough to fly and skate across water. Would you believe it? Also makes a weirdly useful quick hardening resin with a variety of uses. It can thicken up its shell for a more defensive boost. Spray hard bullet like globs or squirt soft gloves harden on impact to gum up incoming predators. These overgrown earwigs are just what you need to level up your tribe's aerolith defenses. And here's a tip, if you crush up the right arthropleura, you will get an enzyme that makes Rhinoactive glue as tech disruptive as Dinopithecus at dung. Plus this bug can glue itself to creatures or cargo and carry things around your base. That said, Rhinoctotha racing isn't for the squeamish. Their males have a pheromone that invites egg-laying females to use them as hosts. Harvest that pheromone, and you can mark any creature for the female to lay her eggs on. The host then incubates a new generation of larvae that can reap its best traits in the process. If some poor beast get eggs laid on it by accident, you might still be able to save it by popping it in a cryopod and freezing out the larvae. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, I've noted down the abilities I uh, personally think this creature is going to have, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go through them. So, first of all, it can skit across water like a bloodstalker, basically, is what I read from this. And again, it can carry larger dinosaurs with its gluey tail, and at the same time carry slash move inventories of boxes and balls around, like a primitive exomech. Then it has a defensive mode, and preferably, or presumably, also an offensive mode, since it can be defensive. Well, then again, it can slow or snare on the dinos with its glue, which would be very useful for taming. And now here comes uh, the interesting part as well. When it kills Arthropleurus, it uh, kills them to make an enzyme that's tick disruptive, just like the Dinopithecus dung. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to uh, interact in the game, but we'll see. And then it can incubate its eggs in other dinosaurs, or that's how you uh, usually breed them and raise the uh, larvae, and hereby by incubating the incubating the eggs in other dinos, it uh, harvests the stats of your choice. And this usually kills the dino, but you can save the dino by uh, by crowning it. Now. That's uh, that's about it. I'm uh, looking forward to uh, this thing being added to the game, and I'll definitely uh, update you guys when it does. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.